Good morning class. Our topic for today is typing lesson. We are going to concentrate on the typing keys. First, we must need to know the different principles for effective learning. Number one, no mistakes. Always be sure and in control. Follow the principle of 100% correct practice. To make a mistake is to learn incorrect things and to confuse that which you already know. Number two, is slower is faster. Speed comes from certainty. The more you type things correctly, no matter how slow it has to be, the more certain you will be and the faster you will become a proficient typist. Increase the speed only when you feel sure enough to do so. Number 3. Don't look at the keyboard. If you don't know where a key is, look at the keyboard to find it. Then look away and type the key. Do not guess. Always be sure. Number 4. Relax. No unnecessary or dysfunctional tension. And the last one, hit the keys squarely in the center. If you find you aren't consistently doing so, slow down. It should feel good to type. You look at the picture. You have the left hand and the right hand. For every finger, there is a corresponding letter to be typed. For letter A, you are going to use your left hand pinky or left little finger. Letter S, the left hand ring. Letter D, the left hand middle. And letter F, the left hand index. For letter J, the right hand index. Letter K, the right hand middle. Letter L, the right hand ring. And semicolon, the right hand pinky or the right little finger. Here is an example of a keyboard. For lesson number one, you are going to concentrate on the home row using your left hand. The highlighted letters belong to the home row. Letter A, A you use your little finger, left little finger. Letter S, left ring finger. Letter D, left middle finger. And letter F, left index finger. This, the highlighted bar is what we call the space bar. This is your activity for the home row using your left hand that you are going to do later on. Lesson number two is still on the home row using your right hand. Letter J, use your right index finger. Letter K, the right middle finger. Letter L, the right ring finger. And semicolon, the right little finger. Here is the activity for lesson number two. Lesson number three is still on the home row using extended index fingers. For letter J, G, use your left index finger and letter H, use your right index finger. Another activity for that lesson. Lesson number four is the shift case. We have the left shift key and the right shift key. We use the shift keys to capitalize a letter or to type the letters on the upper part of the numbers on the number row. So this is an example of the activity using the shift key. Lesson number five. For codes and apostrophe, you have the uh, codes here on the upper part and the apostrophe sign on the lower part. Another activity for lesson number 5. Lesson number 6 is now on the top row. We have the QWERTY or the QWERT. For letter Q, use your left little finger, W, left ring finger, letter E, left right middle finger, letter R, and letter T, left index fingers. The activity for lesson number 6. Lesson number 7 is on the top row. Typing U. Y U I O P. 
For Y and U, use right index finger, letter I, right middle finger, letter O, right wing finger, and letter P, right little finger. The activity for that lesson. Lesson number 8 is now on the bottom row. For letter N, M, comma, period, slash, and question, slash. For letter N, use your right index finger. Letter M, N, M, N and M, should, uh, you are going to use your right index finger. Comma is your right middle finger, period, your right uh, ring finger finger and this last for your right little finger another activity for that lesson a bottom row for letter Z you are going to use your left little finger X left ring finger letter C left middle finger V and B left index finger okay, so this is your activity for that lesson now prepare your computers or your laptops we are going to have an activity or hands-on regarding our lesson and that will be graded after your activity